here we got the final product all assembled and ready to go. Very easy process to put it all together. I'd recommend a second set of hands. Always helps for doing this. Remember the tools you're gonna need is a box cutter for all the cardboard to open it up and the packaging. You're also gonna need a 15 16 wrench and socket. Also 11 16 same combo and three quarter inch wrench and socket. Those are the main tools you need to put this guy together. Have fun and enjoy it. All right, so here we have the boxes for the new Bells of Steel belt squat. Two boxes, each of them weigh approximately 140 pounds. All right, all I'm gonna say here is just a tad bit of installation is required. Here's a quick snapshot of all the parts involved. Pitter patter, time to get at her. Part one, you wanna flip up the base upside down and put in your four band pegs, one in each corner, as you can see here. Put those in first. They each require one bolt with washer. Right here, 11 16 in diameter to get that guy on. Don't crank the crap out of it. Part two is these two pieces go on next. Make sure this plate is facing down and towards the frame, okay? The bolts, there's only four of them in the kit. The dead giveaway is none of them have washers on the end, right? These are the ones you wanna use. Make sure when you do use them, the compression washer, this guy here is the last one onto the bolt, okay? And then it's just a very easy screw and screw it on. They thread into the back plate that's welded on here. Attaching the next piece. The two cross members are going in right here and the one on the other side. Make sure that this piece right here, you have the four spots on this side, all right? So you can bolt your bearings to it next. The big thing on this too is loose fit all these bolts, all right? Because you're going to be putting loose fit it down here down here on both sides. These guys, one on each side here, loose fit. And the same down here, loose fit everything. And once it's all together, then bolt it down. Doesn't have to really be in any particular order, but just make sure you loose fit them at first. All right, next part, part, uh, what am I at, four? All right, so you wanna put your bearings on with your two pieces that connect to the bearings. Make sure you loose fit this guy first. All right, and then put this guy on and then take your other bearing and slip it over and bolt it on. Make sure with the bearings that on both sides, you'll see with the bearing, one part is almost flush here and the other part is protruding where the Allen key goes. Make sure those are both to the outside. Same with on this side. All right, so part five, you're gonna be putting on this piece right here, another cross member, four bolts, all right. And it's going to be bells of steel facing up, all right? So you know you got the right orientation. And these two plates are forward, okay? And make sure that you don't uh, uh, tighten your uh, Allen key screws here on the pulleys, all right? Because you're going to need to be able to adjust this a bit, make minor adjustments down here in order to line up these bolts. So don't bother with this. Until like after you're done this step. Part five is the two uprights, these guys here. Make sure that the small hole is to the outside and the bigger hole is to the inside so this guy can fit in. Make sure that before you put the second upright on, this guy goes in, all right, your hold on bar goes in, bolt it in, and then make sure you got everything's good free range of motion. And then you can adjust, do your final tightening of the nuts Okay, the next step is once you got the uprights on and the handlebar on, you want to put your holders on on both sides and lower this guy down till it's sitting in it so it gets it in a good position to install the next and final sets of pieces on this. So the next piece you're going to put on is this guy right here. All right, and it's very easy. Two bolts, 15 16 On it goes, and then these two arms here Again, because this is mounted the way it is right now, it makes the installation really easy. These guys go on, again, two 15 16 
bolt on both sides. And then the last part is gonna be the installation of these guys. You got two options. You can put them either vertical like I have them here or horizontal off of here going this way. I chose to put them this way for two reasons. Gives you a better range of motion and also way less space that this machine takes up. And the final piece is putting your band peg on. Once that's done, she's complete and ready to use. I would recommend that you go around and do one final check of all the nuts and bolts that you put on the machine and whatever Allen keys uh, insets you can get at. 